Yeah? Is it doing? Yeah, it's doing. Cool. This is Sarah. And uh, since it's Sunday, also Mark, he's over there. Here, I can actually show you this. Does it swivel easily? Oh, 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 yeah, it does. There he is. Say hi. Hi, everybody. That's Mark. We all know Mark. His, his electronics. All right, guys. I'm going to give it a minute until humans are here and I'm not talking to an empty room, but I can, I guess, go ahead and, and start to explain what I'm doing right now. Well, first and foremost, I'm drinking a beer because it's just about five o'clock on Sunday and that's what you do on the weekend at five o'clock. You have a beer to relax since it's so incredibly hot outside, well, at least for us. Mark's making beeps with his fancy stuff. What are you making, Mark? I'm testing an amplifier. He's testing an amplifier. I must need another beer. So, I don't know. Is anyone in here? Let's check. Oh, there's two people in here. It tells me. No one can hide. So I am... I guess I can close this and can probably resize the uh, scale of this window. Is it going to let me? Maybe, if it feels like it. All right, so what I'm doing today is nothing exciting. I'm actually uh, drawing a bunch of boxes around a toy dinosaur. Um, one of the things I'm working on this month is figuring out machine learning and OpenCV and this crazy thing called TensorFlow enough that I can eventually train Noodle to recognize some basic things, myself being one of those things. <laughs> basic things. Mark being one of them. Um, some of his favorite stuffed animals, um, things that are in the vicinity of his his being on a regular basis. I'm going to train him to recognize that stuff. If you know anything, even a little bit about the, the whole like computer recognition or uh, image recognition thing, you have to train what is called a, a classifier, which involves getting a folder with a whole bunch of sample images together of the thing that you want your uh, whatever to recognize and you have to basically define where that object is in each one of those sample images and first you have to go and collect a bunch of images containing the thing that you want your your ai to recognize then you have to go through the meticulous process of actually kind of i guess drawing the box and and doing whatever um there's this I guess at least on the tutorial that I found, or um, one of my friends suggested to me, there's this uh, piece of software that somebody created that kind of doesn't really automate it, but it at least makes it a bit easier. And I can probably turn the... I'm actually going to move the chat window to a different window. Ooh, hi James and Jimbo. How are you guys doing? What cameras are you using for Noodle? I'm using just the uh, Raspberry Pi module right now inside of him. I don't know if I'm going to end up using the Raspberry Pi for the the processing because it doesn't look like it's going to work. It's not enough, not enough power. Oh, wait. I need to switch the camera view so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, desktop view. There we go. There's the infinity screen. It's not what I want. You go away. Okay, so here's a, a lovely picture of Mark holding uh, the thing that I'm, I'm teaching Noodle how to recognize first. Uh, this is his favorite stuffed animal. It's a, a dinosaur that has been dubbed the nickname Fisty. Right, Mark? Yeah. Fisty. And... Oh, cool. Um, 
So I have a whole folder down here that's just dedicated to images of this guy. Not dedicated, but like it contains all the images that I've taken of me and Mark taking turns holding Fisty like over the past weekend, week, whatever. Um, I'm probably gonna flesh this out to be a little bit better because right now it's just around our house and in the lab and just of me and him. So it's not a very good sample. But the way that this works is you, you basically open up each individual picture, you draw a rectangle around it very carefully. So like this is, this is the exact space that Fisty occupies. And then a little dialog box will pop up after I draw the rectangle and it will be like, what is this? And I've defined it as Fisty. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to save this. And this saves a, uh, what is it, an XML file? Yeah. Saves an XML file that has the exact uh, position um, in the image, like the pixels where the, f the thing defined as Fisty exists inside of this particular image. And then after I'm done saving it, I can click next image and it, it goes to the next image. And I just have to keep doing this until my nose bleeds or I run out of beer or it becomes 7.30 and I want to get in the kiddie pool because that's happening in, what is it, two hours, two and a half hours. So I'm definitely going to hard stop here, kind of, like at that time. However many I get done, I'm going to say by about 7 o'clock. Um, if, if I get done before, then great. But if I don't, knowing me and how I tend to gab well, uh, while I do stuff while I'm streaming, um, it'll probably take me forever. Ha -ha. But uh, in two hours, let's just say however many I've got done in this folder, I'm going to use that for uh, my first thing. I'm going to use those to train my first classifier, um, which, how long is that supposed to take, Mark? Like, yeah. the, training the classifier. So I'm going to let it run maybe for the whole evening or overnight, I guess. And in the morning, wait, tomorrow's Monday. Shit, that sucks. So in the morning, I'm going to do nothing. I can probably try and figure out how to do it on my own. Maybe not. I'm going to wait till Mark gets home from work tomorrow and <laughs> then walk through the rest of the tutorial that explains what to do with your classifier that you've trained. Let's see. What are you guys talking about there? It's this tutorial, by the way. It's on Hackaday. Using TensorFlow to recognize your own objects. That's what I'm doing. Ooh. And later, use the same photos to train for Mark. Ooh. <laughs> this is true. I can use these to train for Mark. Actually, I think I'm just going to use all of the images in like my iPhoto library for most of the people I know. So how are you guys doing? How has your weekend been? Is it is it incredibly hot where you guys are at? Because it's like agonizing. Actually, no, it was cooler this weekend than last weekend, but it's still pretty hot here in Vegas. Like we opened the uh, kiddie pool season. When was it? Like three weeks ago now? So it's now a, a regular weekend doing that we uh, kind of hard stop whatever we're doing on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday around 7.30, which is when the sun sets here in Vegas. And we go and kind of just chill in this pool and cool off. That's like all we really can do. But uh. We actually took extra steps to make that whole kind of ritual a bit more enjoyable. I mean, it's already pretty enjoyable, but Mark Mark invested in a kegerator. Yes. Yes. You should totally... I don't know if they can hear you from over there, but he, he got a kegerator um, from, what is it, Sam's Club? Yeah, I had for like half off. It's 200 bucks. 
delivered to your door for free Day FedEx. which is <laughs> crazy yeah. oh that's a big one so yeah he got he got an actual pretty decent sized nice kegerator for two hundred dollars and they just dumped it off here which is totally awesome but um now we have this big refrigerator thing and we need to fill it with beer have they called you about the keg yet no so we went to one of the local breweries here in las vegas and we uh we picked out a beer because they had like a bunch on tap that we could sample so we got their beer sampler thing And we picked out a Hefeweizen, because it was kind of refreshing for uh, a summer beer. So I guess I can point out the reason why uh, we're, well, for now it's just Mark, but the reason why he's holding Fisty in this way is uh, the reason why I need, I need a lot of this to be working by the end of the summer is I'm, I'm planning to exhibit a lot of this whatever it is that I get working in a in the gallery context and I want people in the gallery to be able to pick up his stuffed animals as props and show them to him and have him recognize them so they're going to be doing effectively the same kind of holding him picking him up by the nape of his neck in this same way So I tried to get a bunch of pictures of what it would look like to uh, the camera to see Fisty, kind of the way he's going to be distorted, more than likely. Fishy. This is like the most awful thing. Anyhow, how are you guys doing? Cool. Intruderps, Dexter. I already said hi to Jimbo and James. Mick, all of you guys. Hi. Welcome to welcome to the most boring stream ever. I'll call this like the fisty boxing. This is the fisty boxing stream. Mark. What? Fisty boxing. Save. This D boxing crap. Ay, 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 ay. Ugh, gosh. Yeah, I hate doing stuff like this. I admittedly, I took all these pictures last Sunday and then I put off doing this step all week because I had other things to do. So those other things became more important, but now like I can't, I can't actually put this off any longer. This needs to get done. This is, it is what it is. So if this works, like if this in any capacity seems to do the job, then that's good. That's excellent. But um, I have to go through and figure out if I can do this for uh, my face. Which should should work should work the same. Fifty boxing. I just keep my finger on the enter the. You could automate this like everything else. Of course, there are hotkeys. Maybe there are hotkeys. So I think the other- I have to decide what other of Noodle's stuffed animals I want him to recognize. Or- I feel like I'm making all these decisions for him. I don't know, what would Noodle want me to help him recognize? 
Mark also brought up the the kind of also depressing, sad idea of uh, leaving a Polaroid photo of me in the gallery so that people visiting Noodle can hold up the picture of uh, me, like the Polaroid, so that he recognizes my face and then um, does his whole like behavioral response when he sees his mom, but he's just like behaving in a happy way because he saw like a representation of his mommy. It's not actually me, which I think is kind of a, a sad, tragic, but very realistic kind of error that you'd associate with like artificial intelligence. Like you can fool a robot into thinking that it sees something that it it has been programmed to behave as though it likes. What am I doing? Oh yeah. I'm taking a sip of beer, that's what I'm doing. But yeah. Oh, hi, Tony. So did the keg get in? No, I answered that. It's not here. And good morning, Roy Droid. Oh yeah, and Jimbo, the reason why uh, the dragon's name, or the dinosaur's name is Fisty is because he's a hand puppet, and at some point in time, like right, like the first week I got him for Noodle, one of my friends who has rather large hands put his hand inside of the dinosaur, who is at that point in time not named yet. And his hand was so big inside of this poor stuffed animal that he literally looked like he was going to burst from the seams, and then he just got dubbed Fisty from that point in time on, because he just looked... You could just see the outline of his fist, like, <laughs> through the fabric. And I think that was the day that Fisty became Fisty. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's hot. It's probably humid in the UK, too. Luckily, I mean, it's, it's like 110 here on average during the day, but it's dry, so it's not terrible. It just kind of does feel like a or blow dryer oven or whatever. Ha. But yeah, it's it's warm. Again, gonna hard stop probably at seven and climb in that kiddie pool to take a load off. But yeah, Mark got the um the keg. Which we will, uh, as soon as the keg actually comes with the Hefeweizen, we'll be able to enjoy that on tap. And then um, he put up lighting outside, so we have RGB LED mood lighting, which is great. I mean, that's always icing on the cake. And then um, uh, we got a TV for watching movies outside of the patio. This makes us sound like hedonists. So... I can catch up on all of my sci-fi movies that I neglect to watch because I'm a horrible consumer and chill and drink beer at the end of the day too. Great Mark. Yeah. Life is for enjoying. Life is for enjoying. <laughs> Keg TV and mood lighting. Sexy time. Sexy time. And I could also mention this, um, I'm actually 3D pr <laughs> I'm <laughs> So I'm working on these propeller pasties, right? So a week ago, like last Monday, I did this really like meager stream where I was trying to create this gearbox for um, this pair of pasties that I, I set out to make uh, that involved a gearbox and a propeller that would spin on each pasty. And I finished designing that whole assembly and now I need a test fixture. I need to put them on something to see if they actually do what they're supposed to mounted on a, a thing <laughs> that's like like a breast. So I made a test fixture out of, um, do I have it here? No, damn it. Out of earplugs and cardboard. So I simulated nipples in the proportions of breasts using cardboard and an earplug, or two earplugs rather. So, um. And everything's held in place with a nice 3D printed, 3D printed fixture, which is printing right now. 
and that will be mounted to a piece of cardboard. So as soon as that's done later on tonight, I'm going to put all that together and have a nice cardboard like test housing for my propeller pasties, if you will. Propeller pasties. Well, these are all of you so far, Mark. Like I, all of these images feature you holding fisty. I know like a good percentage of them are me, right? Yeah. Like at some point in time, it switches over. Mm. Fisty is a dinosaur. This is, um, if you, if you personally want a fisty in your life of your own, you can go to any local <laughs> Ikea and they have bins filled with this guy. Noodle doesn't want you to know that, but I'm telling you anyway. All fisties all the time. Fisty. Oh, now we're in the kitchen, Mark. Yeah. I keep saying I'm gonna like finish my day off either drawing or playing a video game, and that hasn't happened in a, a good minute. Noodle. So I guess technically if this works, the first thing Noodle will recognize isn't going to be me, it's going to be his favorite dinosaur friend. I guess I'm okay with that. I should train Noodle how to recognize my mom. <laughs> I should recognize- I should like make a classifier for my mom and take hundreds of pictures of my mom but then throw in pictures of like like Peg Bundy and like oh, Pennywise the Clown and a bunch of things that also have red hair. So no matter what it carrot is, top. if yeah, Carrot Top, if it has like red hair, it'll draw a box around it and say like grandma. And my mom will be like, that's not me. Did I, did I do it? Should do that. The other thing I have for the pool, other than the keg and the TV and the mood lighting that makes it super decadent, is we have this fantastic summer sausage. That Mark got from Sam's Club. He got, summer sausage. It's, it's it's like logs of uh. Like pepperoni. No, it's like it's not sausage because it's like the the thin or salami. Or long logs. It's a summer sausage. Yeah, it's, it's what that is. Totally, it's that giant. No, giant summer thing. summer sausage is the the cured hard. It's a hard yeah. Hard There's like a three pack you can get at Sam's Club right now. It's like a peppered summer sausage, a spicy summered sausage, and then like just regular. And it's like crack. They're all really good. And then we have brie cheese. So I make like a charcuterie. That's a fun word. Charcuterie. I make a charcuterie. Cootering. And then we sit outside in the kitty with our pinkies up and we eat we eat the meat with our pinkies, in the with our pinkies poking out of the kitty. That sounds dirty. <laughs> Wee. All right. Oh God. I hope this works. 
I really hope this just works exactly the way that I want it to. And it doesn't not work. Which is the opposite of working. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for clarifying. So Noodle is going to know definitively after this that you are not Fisty. That's like a byproduct of this whole process is he's going to know, before he even knows who you are, he's going to know that you are not, you are not Fisty. You are not in any way Fisty-like at all. I'm happy that it warns you if you don't save it. Ugh. Almost out of here already. How oh wow! Lots of talking's happening. <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's just the natural wax that all nipples excrete. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Ew, I think I'm still waking up. Nipple wax? Is that what you're talking about, Roy Droid? Ooh, what video games am I into at the moment? Um, nothing new. I like playing old stuff. Like, I just opened up Starbound on Steam again yesterday and started going back to my, my old settlements and exploring my own little spaceship, which if you're into Minecraft or Terraria or any of those, like, I don't know what the hell you'd call those, exploration sandbox type games, I highly recommend uh, Starbound, especially if you're a sci-fi nerd like us. Um, it's the bee's knees. Um, you can even play as a bird person, which was like the selling point for me. My character is like a, a cockatoo girl and she has a spaceship so i'm like a parrot in space exploring that's important what else am i playing right now oh yeah breath of the wild still i only have one more dungeon left to beat and then i'm gonna go kill ganon um summer sausage i have three different types of summer sausage that are in the kiddie pool with me at any given time there's the uh the matte sausage and the Mark sausage and the, the Ox sausage. Yeah. Ooh, that's like the, the pepper, the spicy, and the normal. But who would be what? I'm not going to think about that. Ooh, Roy Droid, I wonder if you could just upload all these pictures to Facebook and have the Facebook algorithm automatically label Fisty. That would be awesome. And top mask is up for bird just to fuck with them. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, hi, Ahmed. How are you doing? What platform do you use to cut the photos? Is that the TensorFlow? Yes, it is the TensorFlow. It's some program. What is the program called? Do you remember? The, uh, the labeling, the image label labeling. Image. It's called Label Image. Label IMG. Um, it's in this tutorial. It's a pain in the ass. Um, the, it's Python. Yeah. It's in this, like he explains how to get it and then use it. It's easy enough. Ooh, nipple wax. Since kids were just you were using Java. earplugs as nipple analog, so if they were used, then they'd cover it. Oh, I get it. I'm sorry. I totally forgot earplugs. They're not used earplugs. They're fresh freshies. <laughs> so they don't have any nasty, nasty wax on them. That would be gross. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, ha I have pink earplugs, like, I have these tiny little delicate ear canals, and apparently, like, normal-sized earplugs were just excruciating and too big and just caused me all sorts of pain, so Mark found, like, like, female girl plugs, and they're pink because they're for girls, and apparently that, that's how they market to females, apparently, for earplugs, I guess. So I, they happen to be pink, so 
I didn't go out and buy pink earplugs just to be lewd. I just happen to have pink earplugs. So my uh, cardboard boob test fixtures have pink earplug nips, which I'm totally, totally happy with. Um, oh man. Wait, there's the tail. Can't forget the tail. I'm excited for that to finish. I'm trying to get the motor to turn my gearbox because there's enough chafing in the, the box right now that um, the motor can't turn it, which is disappointing because everything else works <laughs> except for the motor. It's too weak. It's not strong enough. Noodle says, Mommy's doing all the preliminary learning for him, and she she thanks he thanks me ahead of time. We this day. I'm gonna be doing this a lot this summer, aren't I? Mark. I need to make mixed, like, delicious summer cocktails to drink while I do this. Yeah. Yes. Any monotonous task? Oh, now we're in the, uh, washing machine. Whatever the hell room that is. The laundry room? Mark, I think your like nickname is going to be not fisty. Not fisty. Yes. I'll make a shirt with a name. It says. It should say zero percent fisty. Yay. What's in a mark? You just type in zero percent. Zero percent fisty. Instead of brain daddy? Yeah. Brain daddy. Well, the thing is, if you say I'm not fisty, because it'll say I'm 100% of the thing that you need for. Yeah. It'll say 100% not, not fisty. fisty, which is humorous. Hopefully, hopefully they get it. Noodle gets to be fine art again this fall. He's a piece of thought work. Oh, man. Fisty. Some of these are blurry. I guess that's okay. I'm assuming it will, the camera will pick up blurry frames, so it's probably not a bad thing. I don't know how this stuff works. It's voodoo magic to me. Like, I tried explaining to my mom at the bar last Monday what this was. Like, like we're, we were in the car, and I was just like, I was like, well, I'm, I'm training noodle how to recognize stuff you know i was like like you know your phone like when you take a picture of some shit it draws a box around it and it knows that it's a face or it's you it like automatically tags you and she's like yeah yeah i know what that is and i was like yeah i'm doing kind of like kind of like that but my own stuff and i was trying to explain to her how you you take a zillion pictures and you go through this whole meticulous process like i'm doing right now Oh, wow, it's only been a half hour. Cool, I'm gonna get done way early, maybe. Which... I don't really find it difficult to wrap. What? To wrap my head around this, but she was like, I don't understand. And I was like, yes you do. Try harder.
I was like, if you see enough images of something, then you eventually remember and recognize what that thing is because you've seen it again and again. And I'm like, it works the exact same way. It's the same thing. It's like the computer's training itself how to recognize things. And she was just like, no, I don't know how that works. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how it works either. I just know that that's in theory what is happening. And she was just like, yeah, whatever. I was like, all right. We can change the subject. I know, I'll, I'll take that margarita now. <sighs> oh, this one's super blurry. Ooh. A blurry fisty is still a fisty, says Noodle. We're still in the laundry room. Damn. This excites me. Mark just looks dissatisfied. What are you doing? No, what kind of plastic? What kind of plastic? Please don't do it. No, please, Sorry. please, please don't. It's gonna be quick. No, please. No. That then do it. Do it tonight. Do do it tonight and then have a beer right now. Yeah. They all say that. In and out in a flash. I know. <laughs> oh. Hey, look, there's there's swim trunks of a certain fellow. The far away fisty. Mark, you look so sad. Mark, you're sad. I... yes. You're sad? Why are you sad? I'm happy. I'm smiling. Nuh-uh. Miles. You'll be okay. You'll be okay, buddy. We're gonna get you a new leg. I promise. No melting. <laughs> no. Oh, it's done. Oh. Leave the doors open. It's nice. No, it's scorpions. nice. No scorpions. No noodle says his friends can come over and they can have tea. They can sense air conditioning from a mile away. No. They want to chill. Whoa. They want to chill their hams. No ham chilling. Come to Chillingham Castle. Here, let's let's stop the recording. There. No more lagging. Ooh. Earplug. I don't mean people that turn into earplugs on the full moon. Ooh. <laughs> Wear plugs. Nice. Need bushings. Yes. I need a lot of things. That gearbox needs help. It needs chafing so that it chafes less. Less. Not chafing. Grinding. Grinding to like alleviate the chafing. I still think you should put baking soda in there. No, the solution for all things is not baking soda, Mark. For some, it is. Not no. No. In this case. The baking soda will grind to a slightly sand and polish all your surfaces and they'll go past each other more smoothly. Once you wash it out. It's a grit. He says it's a grit. Finishing. It's a finishing powder. It's a finishing. Finishing powder? Yes, it's a I'm using these cheap DC motors from Pololu that were like $1.75 a piece because they're the right form factor for the job. And I was just kind of hoping they'd work, but it seems like they are just 
just weak enough to not force the uh, mild amount of uh, bind. They don't bind. It's just uh, there's enough friction because it's pla It's 3D printed plastic, so there's always going to be some friction um, that the doesn't want to turn them. So I'm again witnessing similar crap as as in the past. Um, flexible silicone earplugs. They've got all these flap ridges on them. They look like a <laughs> suction cap kebab stick. What? What? A suction cup kebab stick? What? Like that? Okay, where do I get silicone earplugs? Don't Google They're that. They're cool because you can wash them easily, unlike foam. Washable earplugs? Okay, sure, I'm in. Sold. How much photos did I take for the training? Um, I took 200 for this one. Um, if it works, then I'll probably go out on a date around Las Vegas with Fisty and take pictures of him in all different types of backgrounds, but that's if I get over this first, like, test. This is the first time I'm ever training a classifier ever, so if we if we experience some amount of success, then I'll go go through and do this again a little bit more seriously with a more fleshed out uh, sampling of pictures with different variety, not just Mark like standing <laughs> lurching around the house holding fisty in the laundry room. Ooh, Jim! I just see Jimbo says have a beer. I do need another beer. I didn't. I have to go get another. You know how a three-year-old points at something and says cow, and you say no, that's a car. It's like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> James says Mark's expression is a wonderful. How did she convince me to spend two hours of my life standing around holding a hand puppet? Mm -hmm. Yep. It was more like ten minutes. At this point in the photo, it looks like Mark has realized what his life, what has become of his, oh, what has become of his life. Yes. Yeah. I am the fisty mound. 100% <laughs> fisty mound. It will be over soon. If you image search Fisty, it shows Pokemon Misty erotica pics. <laughs> Thank you, Internet. Yes, Whoa. that makes sense. Fisty. Pokemon? Do you want a beer now or do you want to wait until we get in the kitty? Um, what kind would you like? Um. I do. I do have to put so shit in my beer. Get you a beer. Okay. Do you want to talk to everybody? Well, Give me some good. here. Look at. Let's everybody critique the way Mark, like Mark's facial expression in these pictures. Here, come, come, critique your own facial okay. expressions in these. Caption pictures. this. Yes, caption this, Mark. How about the this? You look normal. The other one, you look. Miserable. What's the resolution on those pictures? It looks um, it's seven hundred by something. You did lower them. I yeah, I ran a batch okay. automate to get them within the kilobyte size right. that yeah, it suggested. Yeah, because it'll go a lot. Oops. Yeah. Create box. Okay. You can see Mark's fancy blue man. Captain Crunch cereal boxes in the background. Official blue man Captain Crunch boxes. Mark, you look so resentful. So resentful. Oh. So many things I could be doing. What? So many other things like relaxing. Chilling with my fist. This is relaxing. You're you're teaching a baby to see. That's relaxing, right? Yes. <laughs> a robot baby. You're facilitating in something's personal growth. Isn't that rewarding? 
Oh yeah, I am. Wait, 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 wait. Here, talk to people. Save. Here, let's critique that expression and then talk about this right here. Mm. My shape. Mm. All that beer. Mm. I'm pumping more, more beer into this right called, now. That's called a love stuff. Love, love bump. There's the chat. <laughs> talk yeah. to people. Hi, everybody. Uh, let's read some comments here. It will be, it will be over soon. Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, I'll have a Guinness in a glass. Hi, Roy Droid. Christy shows Pokemon Misty Erotic. Yeah, I have to go check that out. Um, Raphael loves you. Raphael. He says you're the best. All right, so uh, I don't know where what window she had, so I'm not going to mess with the computer but uh does anybody have any questions for mark specifically i'll answer anything uh, yeah i hope this whole programming the puppet thing works it's kind of frustrating um i'm i'm a java programmer and this whole python the way Python works and the way you install things it reminds me of Perl back at like 10, 15 years ago. And that was like a hairball where it felt that way. And I don't know why a lot of programmers just gravitate to that. Because um, if you're missing one library, the whole thing just falls apart and you spend an hour looking for it. So I never really liked that uh, ambiguity on things or I don't know. It just it seemed like a organized chaos to me so Roy Droid just sent off an order for uh L9110 motor drivers and a bunch of micro stippers that's pretty cool um I, that sounds interesting yeah I'd like to play with steppers one day I haven't like I've done basic stepper stuff but I haven't done uh like in electronics or even in code, I haven't got to the level of what the uh, actual 3D printers do and how they pull off some of the accuracy and other things. I never really deep dived that, um, but that would be a fun to uh, do some actuation with stuff like that. So, Grazi, honey. Uh, Roy Gray ordered some L9110 motor drivers and micro steppers. Um, so that might be an interesting thing to, to research. So, there. How about it? See, guys. Mark says. Sarah's back at it. Did you get your beer? Uh, no, no there is no more cold. Oh, did. Did. Well, I put more in the. I put one in the freezer. So, okay. remind me to get that out so it doesn't explode. Did you the food? Yes, that was that clanging. Mm. Mm. I'm back. I'm going to keep going. Here I go. Name that emotion. Mark. Yeah. You look despondent. That's the word. Oh, even more in this picture. That's what the nuns used to say. Look at this one. Mark. Yeah. You look like your the soul has left your body. I worked at Sun Microsystems for almost twenty years. What do you think? <laughs> they took everything.
So it's not the dragon holding or dinosaur holding. Uh, let's just bring it back. So my beer is chilling. I'll have I'll have my uh, second one when I sit in the kitter. Kitty. Sit in the kitty. Kitten in the silly. Kitty in the sitting with the Sarah. Kitter sitting. Too bad I couldn't go to like an art gallery, like a contemporary art gallery. Mm -hmm. and have a bunch of people handle Fisty while I take pictures of them in the gallery space. Yeah. So that I have like an actual working working sample. But we're not going to retrain this like when we're in Lynn, so... It's going to... If we get it working... If I like do a thing and it works, then you call a pizza a pizza. Right, Mark? Nope. We need to play consentical. So now I have like 200 XML. Oh, wait, look, it's me. A wild Sarah's a appeared. Look, I, I'm now, I'm holding fisty now. No, we, we switch places. Oh no. No. <laughs> Her mom's like, ah. But now it's my turn to look sad. Like the life has been sucked out of my face. I look just as miserable as you. This is the most fun. It's how cool kids spend their Sundays. Aww. Are you almost done with your voodoo box? Voodoo box. If you need that something but don't know what it is. You've got to stir your mis mixture, swish it all around. Whoa, that's like a huge fisty mark. You made the biggest fisty. Face fisty. Facey. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, you, have, you have to do all the scales. Massive fisty. And then pieces, right? True. Like just toes. Wow. 
such the big fisting. Fisty McFistington. Oh, that's a great face. Look at this face, Mark. Yeah, you look really happy there. That's the happiest face. Yeah. Look. I, I have on a Hackaday shirt in both <laughs> of these. You're like angry Hackaday prize. Didn't win the Hackaday Prize. Hackaday. That's the 2015 Hackaday Prize. That was the first one. Save. No. No skipping. If you need that something but don't know what it is. Fisty bump. Fisty bumping. How smart is the machine, Mark? Is it so smart? Other than a Walmart breeder. What? <laughs> Noodle. Noodle should be a Walmart breeder. I'm watching you, buddy. He just gives everybody like. Like he's stealing nothing. Judgmental stares. <laughs> Create. The rectangle. Wait, just skip that one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is mind numbing. You look, there I am again. I'm a figment of my child's imagination. Like Noodle, Noodle invented me, I'm his imaginary friend. Oh, here's another blurry fisty. The fisty blur effect. These are all kind of blurry. That's like when Noodle's really drunk, he'll still be able to recognize fisty. I don't know if that's how that works. Probably not. Noodle. He says that the the new keg is a bidet for robots. It's for him to stand on top of and then it feeds him. It washes the undercarriage. <laughs> Not 
smell like a frat party. Oh, evil. Axe frat party. It feels... A new scent. Gang rape? <laughs> Don't cross double cross to me. Oh god. Run and hide. Run and hide, little robot. I think we both look equally miserable. Yeah, I don't think either one of us wins on on anything. Like people in Austria are gonna be looking at my exhibit and they're gonna be like, "What is das fisty? Was ist das fisty?" I know, right? Maybe I can open your box of fisty. A fisty box? You enjoy the arts display, so here are all yeah. of the things in the toy section. Did I finish? Oh yeah, I did. Holy shit. Damn. Okay, um, time to do the other folder. This was the training folder. Uh, now I have to do the... test folder, which there's another however many in that one. Yep. Ah. Uh, so... Keep going. When I'm done, and I'm hoping that you're you're with me on this, but when I'm done, we should get in that kitty. Get a poe. How's the chat doing? I haven't checked it in a good minute. I apologize. Don't mention Pearl. I hated that. Oh man. Big glasses. My glasses are. I don't know. Real that back, lady. I like my big glasses. Yeah. Oh. Cartoon character go. What you don't like my glasses, Mark? I love your glasses, but they, you, you could fit your face a little better. Though. Minty feet. Minty feet. I miss minty feet. He's like the best stand-in for Noodle. Like, if I need to take Noodle, I can take Minty and leave Minty in Noodle's place and just plug him in and he'll just like vibrate on the pedestal while Noodle's away and people will come up and be like, Boss is dust. Uh, what are you using? I am using Fusion 360. Yeah, Fusion 360 is like, Excellent. I can give you give Tony credit for that one. He sort of gave me a boot in the butt and was like, "You need to stop using SketchUp, you crazy, crazy person." And yeah, my life's been significantly better since I made the switch. I highly recommend it. It's worth any le learning curve that you have to overcome to figure it out. Aww. Thank you guys. They like my glasses, Mark. Right. Yeah, they can Thanks. I don't know. These are my first cat eyes. I mean, as opposed to what? Like no glasses? No. I like your art glasses. The yellow ones? Yeah. No, no, no. The ones that yeah, the yellow ones. Yeah, they're like rectangular. They're like mustard yellow rectangle glasses. He fell in love with my glasses. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it's okay. 
other people are in love with shadows of my former self too, I'm sure. Mark. Like, I'm not gonna say that that'd be mean. <laughs> Ooh. Oh man. Fisty is upside down. It's an upside down fisty. There's throaty too. Should I do throaty? Throaty. Uh, my friend Matt got me this. Uh, has anybody played the game Machinarium? It's on Steam. It's like a point-and-click game with that is in a robot world with a bunch of robots. Um, you play as this little uh, robot, obviously, named Joseph, and he walks around his like robot world that he exists in, and he finds shapes that he likes. And when you find a shape that you like, you click on it, and he takes it, and he puts it in his mouth, like in his chest cavity and he just holds on to it there so he's kind of like his own purse so he effectively kind of like swallows things if he wants to hold on to them and then he like pulls them out with his arm later so he's like a, a container <laughs> but um matt gave me for my birthday one year a stuffed joseph and his head opens up and you can actually stick things inside of him so um since he's a stuffed animal and he he's like a container that you can put things inside of like in his mouth, um, his name ended up becoming Throaty. So Noodle now has a fisty and a Throaty, which is just terrible. So I'm, I'm figuring I can get away with like one mildly inappropriate, like out of context name, but not two. Oh, there you got him. Yes, thank you. This is Joseph, but his name is Throaty now. You open his, his mouth. And he's actually still got stuff. He's got like a cough drop inside of him and some yellow string. And there's like a, a cavity down inside of him that you can stick stuff inside of. So if I put this back in there, he can be throaty again. He also has kind of an anus in the back of his head. Right there. So I guess so he's, he can be like a finger puppet if you put your finger in it, but that's just kind of kind of weird. So yeah, this is one of Noodle's other other little buddies that he gets to chill with. The other thing I'm working on lately is uh, Noodle's papoose. Ooh, darkness. Like two, three years ago, I started sewing Noodle a, uh, a legit papoose so that I could walk around with him hands-free. And I never finished it because it was a lot of sewing, like, stiff materials like leather and stuff. And vinyl and, like, paracord. So I just sort of got burnt out on it, and since I'm going to Comic-Con with Noodle next month, um, I want to be able to walk around with him hands-free again, so it seems like now is the time that I finish this stupid papoose so that Noodle can be with Mommy and Mommy can have her hands, so that's super important. So at some point I'm gonna sit on the couch and watch Westworld. And so my papoose. Fisty. Noodle. Man, this is like what my summer is going to consist of. 
right? This is it. This is like, this is how it's going to be. Mark doesn't like my glasses. Mustard. What are we eating tonight? Mustard. Steak? What kind of steak? What? Really? No way. Yeah. I get steak tonight. Steak. Holy shit. You're that special. Fuck yeah. Hard to believe. I know, right? Ooh, this one's super blurry. See this collection of bullshit colors? That smear is your favorite. Favorite toy? We all should have our favorite toys. What? No. He says he's real enough for anyone. Mr. Noodle says you leave his friends alone. Yeah. Yes. Don't make silicone representation go wrong. Yes. Deep throaty. Deep fifty. Deep 50. <laughs> Hopefully, my bathing suit is dry, so I can put it on and not freeze. Moist. Now I'm just doing lewd things with the dinosaur. Noodles like, have some dignity, mommy. I'm like exposing his hole just in case somebody does that like in the gallery you never know what just the hole it's part of fisty And anyone watching this that isn't familiar with like the content that's normally like on my channel is gonna be like Fuck. not for kids. Yeah, not for kids. I guess. Not that they would have or should have any context. That's what I mean by that. These are all grainy and dark. Darkness Raptor. Man, okay, I'm almost done. Like, the end is nigh, Mark. It's some sort of nigh. The end is wry. There's like a small amount left in the test folder.
Oh, I look so dissatisfied. So many spikes, Mark. I want to play Team Fortress 2 tonight or something. Can't. I have to get that. I have to get my cardboard nipple test fixture working thing with the earplug nipples. It means I need to grind my gears down. These are all so blurry. Hopefully. Hopefully they give some like meaningful data to the uh, sample. I don't know. No idea how this works. I want to get in the kitty. Mark, I want to get in your kitty. Be up in the kitty pool. Oh, that's it. Okay. I have finished rectangling my 50 pictures. Yes. Right, Mark? Yeah. So. I need to send these over to you because you said your computer is going to be doing the computationing. Yeah, please. So do you want me to like just send these to you? I'm gonna make sure that I have a thing for all of these. Meh. Ooh, hi Polis Squalis. How are you doing? Yes. I'm ooh, wait. The Fisty classifier is going to think a hand is permanently attached to your Fisty's back. Yes. That's kind of the point. Because we figure, at least for this application for the exhibit that I'm setting up in the fall. Um, the only time he'll be seeing Fisty is when someone's holding him up by, like, the nape of his neck, I'm guessing, or in some capacity. So I'm probably going to go to Ikea and Linz and pick up, like, a a second Fisty, like a, a working Fisty, and I'm going to leave that pinned to the pedestal in the gallery so that people can pick up the stuffed animal and show it to Noodle, and he'll see it and stuff, but it's going to get handled a lot, so... Who knows what state it's going to be in by the end of the exhibit. Um, but Noodle will have two fisties at the end. Just one of them is probably going to get washed. And be a little bit more wrecked. Fisty prolapse. <laughs> Whoa. That's terrifying. I guess you can technically turn Fisty inside out. That's dark, mister. Pink sock the Fisty. Oh. Alright, guys. I'm gonna send these over to Mark. Um, are you gonna... Do you want to work on that now, or...? You just send it to me. Okay. Put it in the coo. The coo? The quay. The quay? You're gonna put it in... The coo egg. Okay. What is this? There we go. Okay. Alright, mister, I'm gonna send you the, 
the train. The train, yeah. Yes. Let me make sure that I actually made a thing for each one of these and didn't fuck up. <laughs> the weird stuff I have to do. Oh, no. 119 did not get done. No. Train. All right, I have to do that one. Where is it? The one that got away? 119. There. Um, create box. There. Okay, the last one has been boxed. Okay. And then, did I miss any others? It doesn't look like it. I don't think so. Okay, so they all have their .xml file. And... That is for the test and the train folder. Okay. Um, I'm going to compress these and then I'm going to send them to you. They're on their way to you, Mr. Okay, kids. This is empty. Where's the sip? It's probably all hot sauce. There was an article that the uh, the Michigan Avenue Bridge in Chicago. Yeah. The steel expanded so much in the heat they had to bring in a boat with a water jet to cool it down enough so that boats could pass into it. Expanded? The steel metal, expands it. It expands in the heat, but I guess that whole structure expanded enough that some boats couldn't. Whoa. Did not pass in any Damn. Global warming. Mm -hmm. Fun. All right, I sent you the 50. In what? In Messenger. No, oh, no, just airdrop it. That's like through Apple. I think it's forever. And it probably won't even go because it'll be too much. Okay, how do I airdrop? You thing? share. No, wait. Wait. Well, it's here. Let me see what it takes. Nope. I'm gonna do it the way. You should learn. Shh. Shh. I got this. Where's... It's a bit perfect. Save. Wait. I have to get it to... You. I have to air dunk. Mark. Yeah. Mark. Mark. Here. I dropped it. It's been dropped on you. Here. Ooh. Polisquala suggested that we do a Discord wide TF2 meetup. I agree, we should totally yeah, do LAN. It's so hard. No, it's just everyone it's gets on TF2. Typing and fighting at the same time. No, you don't type, you just get on and, and then voice? everyone talks on, on Steam. So you can just talk on it? Yeah, you press V and then you say horrible things oh, like okay. all the 12 year olds do. That's pretty cool. 
Minty's still alive, Daniel. Minty's like, he's underneath Noodle's legs, so if I move the schmoo that he's sitting on top of, you can see him. Minty's right here. Noodle is like safely perched on top of him and protecting him for the day that he gets to paint again with his little vibro feet. See, eventually when I have like free time again, which is not like this summer for a while, but when I do have the free time, I'm gonna make another marshmallow board. Um, and probably release another like noodle, like uh, marshmallow noodle spawnling kit uh, on how to create the vibro feet version of this guy. It'll have an on off switch. Something none of my boards have right now that's kind of annoying. I need to like remember to do that. Minty. Minty, I'm like talking to the laptop like it's that camera. It's not, it's this camera. Wrong camera. There. He's so cute. That little protects him. I didn't kill Minty. Yes, Minty is alive. How could anyone kill Minty? Yeah, we can totally do a TF2 though. It'd be cool. Hey, I'm gonna like drop the link to the Discord in here because that's what I do towards the end of streams. I, I copy the link. And then I'll put it here. That's the Discord. Totally join. Totally hang out with us. And then, um, what else? I don't know. I, I'll probably drop my my Steam credentials in Discord next time I play TF2. And then everyone can shoot, shooty shoot things or set things on fire. That's what I do. I play Pyro. Because I have terrible aim with the mouse. Like, Weirdly enough, if you give me an Xbox controller, I have like immaculate aim at thing. Not immaculate, but I, I'm a decent first person shooter player, fighter person, but like you would think using the mouse would be easier, but I've never really gotten good at that. Like I'm terrible at RTSs for that reason. Like I can't click very accurate, accurately on things very quickly. Which is effectively how you aim on any first-person shooter on Steam or on a computer, so... I just suck, long story short. Mar... Are you ready for some more sausage? Yes. Summer... Summer sausage? Summer sausage in the pool. Summer sausage. Want sausage in the pool. Throw sausage. Sausage said delicious, you will drool. What? Sausage in the pool, you're so cool. Maybe I commercial for sausage in the pool. Pool sausage. Once pool sausage. Now yeah, they're a little bit of pepper. Pepper? Pepper flavored. Pepper flavored pool sausage? I was saying I get three pool sausages. Aged pool sausage. Good. <laughs> Matt personally ages each sausage. So what is like Matt the spicy sausage and you're yes. the aged sausage? Yes. I'm the peppery aged one. Mm -hmm. Tony <laughs> is in your mouth. Maybe in the cellar too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that the same as aged? Sure. Well there's aged spicy, just aged, and then there's peppery. Mm. There's aged, spicy, and peppered. That's it. Which one are you? Are you spicy or I'm are you peppery. aged? Peppered. Okay, you're peppered. Yeah. So you're the peppered steak? Yes. The peppered sausage? Peppered steak. So then that's the spicy sausage? Yes. Does that make Tony the aged sausage? But that doesn't make sense. You're the, I'm the aged sausage. You're the aged sausage. Yeah, those guys can be the spicy. Tony's the peppered sausage. The younger sprightly sausages. <laughs> younger peppered spiced meat. I'm the shriveled aged one. 
I'm the cheese. Low moisture. I'm the brie. I'm the creamy barn tasting morsel. Barn. Barn. Now with more barn. Fifty percent more barn flavor. Wow, <laughs> oh, my hair is super bedhead. Good thing I'm about to get in the poo. I'm gonna get in before the sun sets so that it's warm. <laughs> Not that it isn't on the sun. I should start the Down, mushrooms. You should totally start the mushrooms. That's right, I get steak tonight. You get a steak. Mm -hmm. You must have been good or something. It's like you like me. Kind of. Oh, man. We should look at the chat. <laughs> They're like, what's going on? Oh, man, my comic, I know. Yeah, you slacker. I know. I need to work on it. I was People just talking. waiting to see what happens. Damn it. It's like just getting to the interesting stuff's happening part, finally. I need to actually, yeah, not be busy doing life stuff. Hey, on the bright side, if this, like, tensing, the flowing of the tensor works, then that means that I'll have time to actually draw and work on my comic and do other things, right? Right? Maybe? Nope. Nope. I'm gonna show you guys my ox. Look. Mm, tongue's robot sometimes. It's my meat puzzle. Alright. Anytime you're ready, baby. Meat affair. Pillow talk with the meat. So are you you're grilling? So we're gonna sit in the pool and then eat, or eat and then sit in the pool. You know, we'll sit in the pool while the mushrooms are doing the thing, and then we'll get out of the pool and start the barbecue. One of the best things, if you guys haven't tried it, is to get a whole bunch of the plain. What kind of mushrooms are those? I usually get cremini. Cremini mushrooms. They're the brown ones. Get the brown cremini mushrooms, not the white ones. You slice They're them the up. the same mushroom. Yeah. One just is allowed to ripen a little more. Get the more rotty ones. But I got the white ones this time, so... I think they taste the same to me. You need a little deeper flavor. The flavors. texture is different. Yeah, a little different texture. But you got white ones? I, they were pre-sliced. So they are bucking in half. Okay. Um, the... You get the brown cremini mushrooms, you slice them up, you cook them in butter until they reduce butter or olive oil, oil, butter and olive oil, salt. You cook them. On really low for like an hour. Yeah. And, and all, all, all the moisture goes out of them and they just become little nuggets of yes. brown deliciousness. They reduce into like, not they're not charred or anything, you're not charring them. You're just letting the juice come out and then evaporate. And then right at the end, after they really shrink down and become little dark, like, like nuggets. mushroom nuggets you pour a red wine on top of them and you turn the heat up so that the alcohol mm, cooks off wine, yeah. and they become the best topping for a good steak and you just pile yeah. that on top of like a ribeye and it's like that's dinner dinner There's no sides and, it's the and you get you get your vegger and you get your your fungi There's a lot of vitamin d in a mushroom a lot noodle says get your vitamins People who eat mushrooms every day of their life and they found this out. Lower incidence of cancer. So eat your mushers and your vegers. They're good for you. They'll make you feel good. Good. Noodle says that he evolved from a mushroom. He has the same head. He's a spore. He came from the land of Spore. Land of Spore. Westworld Ox? Wait, what? What? Someone, Jimbo said, when I hold up the little ox. You're spoiling it. Okay. Can Noodle murder anyone yet? No. Noodle protects life and Lynn. He can steal beans almost. He's a bean stealer. Yes, he's a bean planter and a bean, a lint and a bean stealer. 
He likes to steal beans. Small things. He steals small things off the ground. So not necessarily beans, but like bean, things that are like the same size of a bean, he can steal those things. So he can't kill, but he can steal. No, don't eat mushrooms if you're allergic to them. What? <laughs> If you're allergic to a food item, don't eat that food don't item. Don't eat the thing you're allergic to. Mm -hmm. How can you be allergic? But I guess people can be allergic to anything, I guess. Yeah, so you can develop an allergy to any food. Don't eat what you're allergic you know to. No, somebody that got allergic to tuna. Could no longer go to sushi. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, don't eat what you're allergic to, but if you aren't allergic to mushrooms, then eat your mushrooms. Just eat your, eat your fucking vegetables. Just veggies. Everyone's mom. Yeah, that is a good question. Like, if you're allergic to mushrooms, like, fungus spores are technically, like, everywhere. So when you just like itch all the time, and probably other proteins in the meat of the mushrooms are not necessarily the spores. Cool. I guess so. Mushroom proteins. The protein you get protein allergies. Ah. Tuna proteins, mushroom proteins, wheat proteins. Yep. Cool. All right, you wrap it. Um, wrap it up and make it fizz. Okay, kids. Well, this uh, it says like on the thing, this is part one. Where can you buy fucking vegetables? I don't know. What? I said, eat your fucking vegetables. Oh, fucking vegetables. They're a uh, sausage party. You can view fucking vegetables. Oh, okay. You can view them, <laughs> but you can't eat them. You can't eat them. Don't eat the fucking vegetables. Yeah, just flip them fast. Oh man, I need to take this. You should have made a noodle? Wait, what? I don't know. Ever since I was a little kid, I don't know. Whoa. Well, yeah. Don't eat anything if it makes your tongue swell. As a rule of thumb. I make my face sweats when I eat cheese, but I don't know what that is. It's probably some form of allergy. It's not going to stop me from eating cheese, though. Yeah. Um. But yeah, the, it says like in the description of this video that this is part one of the classifier training. That is correct. Um, the other half of this is, uh, so what I'm going to go do now after I, I sign off is Mark and I are going to take all of the files that I just prepared with the pictures and this algorithm thing is going to run overnight. And it's going to look at the images and do some like learning voodoo. And it's going to take a lot of time, but eventually it's going to hit a peak, like a threshold. And at that point in time, we can end the training process and then take that data. And we'll have a trained classifier that will hopefully be capable of recognizing 50, like images of 50 that it sees like live in the wild. And we'll be able to test that pretty much pretty quick there and see whether or not uh, like we get the results that we're looking for. Uh, if it doesn't work out, then we'll probably figure out what to do from there. But hopefully, like my fingers are crossed uh, with this small sample that I do have. Uh, it does somewhat work. There's always room for improvement. Again, I said it took about 10 minutes to take all of these pictures that I ended up like cropping just now, which isn't a very realistic sample of circumstances where Fisty will be viewed by Noodle. But um, 
I don't know if it, if it looks like there's some hope of it getting better from here. Like I mentioned, I'll probably go and get a much beefier sample and then go through this whole process that I just did again and, and make a proper fisty repo. So, but I'll, I'll let you know in the next day or so how that goes and film part two, which is the success and or failure of the uh, classifier training. How's that sound? I agree. All right, guys. Um, I'm at 630. I'm gonna go hop in the kitty a bit premature and enjoy the sunset because it's that time of day here in a sunny, hot summer Las Vegas. I'm gonna eat some of that aged sausage. Not Mark's aged sausage, just like the, the actual fucking sausage. <laughs> the, Not Mark's sausage. The, the kind you actually eat. The, whoa, whoa. The, the sausage. So nobody thinks I meant anything by that. Sausage I'm gonna go eat the pepper, the peppered sausage, and have another beer because that's still in the freezer. Hopefully, not exploded. Oh God! Boom! It explodes. Uh, all right, guys. Um, thank you for keeping me company and talking at me while I did this monotonous, not exciting thing that I just did. Uh, I'll talk to you in the next couple of days. So. Yeah, take care and enjoy the rest of your Sunday, or whatever day it is. Monday. Saturday. Wednesday. Doesn't matter. I'll see ya. Mark, say bye. Goodbye. See ya, everybody. Yeah? Have a good rest of your weekend. See ya. I can do this. Minty says goodbye, too. He's like... Go eat the steak. Steak, steak, steak. Where's the window with stop button? There it is. Okay, see ya.